Geologists knew that one type of location was particularly vulnerable to landslides. Large volcanic islands. There are dozens of such islands scattered throughout the world's oceans, and the reason they are prone to landslides is because of the way they are built. These islands began life millions of years ago, when lava erupted onto the ocean floor. As this cooled and hardened, layer built upon layer until it formed a land platform of volcanic rubble above sea level. Scientists realized that every few thousand years, one of these piles of volcanic rubble had fallen into the sea. Volcanic islands grow by one lava flow after another over tremendous amounts of time. As they do this, they become oversteepened. Uh, at the same time, you have the ocean eroding away at the base, and eventually all these things together end up weakening the edifice to the point where it collapses. This is Hawaii, the largest chain of volcanic islands on Earth. These scarred valleys are where vast sections of Hawaiian coastline fell into the sea hundreds of thousands of years ago. The mega tsunami they created would have been thousands of times more powerful than Lituya Bay. Underwater lies the debris of ancient Hawaiian collapses. Whole chunks of the islands have fallen onto the sea floor. The biggest section is the Tuscaloosa Seamount a giant block which fell off the island of Oahu two million years ago. This single rock is almost ten times the volume of Mount Everest. When it hit the water, it would have created an unimaginable mega-tsunami. It would have taken five hours to travel across the Pacific and strike the west coast of America. But this event was not unique. Well, what we've noticed when we start looking at the volcanic islands is that every archipelago has collapses. The evidence is insurmountable. Everywhere you go, you find evidence for debris avalanches, slumps. The Cape Verde Islands in the Atlantic also had a massive landslide. This was 80,000 years ago. The mega tsunami this created would have taken just one hour to strike the west coast of Africa. These volcanic island collapses seemed to be rare, only happening every several thousand years. The most recent one is thought to have occurred in the Indian Ocean, when part of the island of Réunion collapsed just 4,000 years ago. Seven hours later, the wave it generated would have struck Australia. Although this is believed to be the last volcanic island to collapse, it seems inevitable that somewhere it will happen again. You can't build islands over thousands of years, flow after flow, without having collapsed. It just is part of their nature, it's part of their history, and it's part of their future.